Benoni Defense, Modern, King's Pawn Line, 6, G6. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White overpowered black in the middle game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The d4 pawn is quickly attacked by the Benoni defense, which also creates spaces for the black queen to grow. d5 grabs more space in the center and prevents black from trading the c-pawn for the white center pawn. By attacking the d5 pawn with e6, the bishop on the dark squares can advance. And c3 supports the d5 pawn and starts the fight for the e4 square. X5 creates an imbalanced center and opens up the e-file for black to use in the future. Cxd5 recaptures the pawn on d5 and leaves the c4 square open for white pieces to use. d6 defends the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. The pawn on d5 is supported by e4, which also makes room for the bishop on light squared to advance. The dark squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. Games Master. It is the final book action. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This squanders a chance to link rooks. It is incorrect. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. This protects a queen who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Backs off. 
It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. White had the advantage at first, but now they are in the lead. It is incorrect. This fails to take use of the chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It is incorrect. This poses a rook kicking threat. It is incorrect. This threatens to fork pieces. This allows the opponent to kick a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This is a missed chance to kick a rook. It is incorrect. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A very strong play. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is quite good. That pawn was available for free. It is quite good. This buys time by putting a knight in danger and getting it to flee. It is quite good. This protects a knight who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. This pins the other side's knight to the king, rendering it immobile. It is ideal. The knight that was attacking is now gone. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is quite good. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White overpowered black in the middle game.